Okay, so do you want to know how to change parameters in the service, in Power BI service, you know, in the cloud? I will show you that in a minute. So hello and welcome back. My name is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change parameters in Power BI service. I have done videos on how to create parameters on Power BI desktop and before it was not possible to change those parameters in the service. Now it is. So I will show you how. How about we get started? Okay, so first of all, I'm actually going to show you how the Power BI file looks like. This is the Power BI template for WordPress. Um, I have a, I will have a link on the description. So if you don't know how I did that, you will see on that video. But if we go here under edit query, so edit parameters, you will see that there are three parameters, the site, website, the JSON API, and the number of posts. If you want to know exactly what those are, check that video. Otherwise, just we have three parameters on this Power BI file. And we're going to publish this to the service. I'm not going to use the publish button um, because this is I'm going to publish the demo account. And just to not make it complicated, I will just upload it. Okay. So here we are in my demo account and I'm going to upload the Power BI file from here. You can, of course, pub publish it directly. Uh, in this case, for me, it's easier to just upload it. So we have the data set here and what we're going to go is to the place where you can change the parameters. You have to click in here and it is under the schedule refresh. That's why I use it. We're not going to schedule the first, it's just that it's here, parameters. So it's my shortcut to it. Edit credentials, anonymous. This is just the URL. So this source has been updated, gorgeous. And now we have here uh, parameters. Yay! So here we have the parameters that we had available on the website or on the Power BI report. And as you can see, they are grayed out. We cannot change anything. And this is why if we go back here, go to edit queries and manage parameters, you're going to see that they are type any. So we need to change that to either decimal or text, otherwise it won't work. And because it's a URL, we want to have text everywhere. So we will close and apply. And now we're going to save it. And now that I have saved it, I will go back again and uh, uh, upload it again. I'm just going to delete it because sometimes when you just re-upload, it just does weird things. So just to make sure that the upload goes well, we will do it from scratch. Look a file, put it in there. Now it's important it. So it is there, I'm guessing that here I have, hmm. uh, let's do it from here. Uh, let's give it a refresh. Again, we configure the credentials. You don't need to do that. Um, and then here we have the parameters and the site URL. And you can actually go in here and change it. it. Doesn't make any sense that I change it here because then it won't work, but you can change the parameters in here. So just so you know, and then you can use this for hard coded paths. You can use these for uh, changing sources. So let's say that you have a Google Analytics report, you could change from one entity to another. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So make sure you have them as text or decimal and then you can change them. So what do you think? Easy, right? I guess this is not like very useful if you want your users to change parameters, but if you are going, for example, to change your sources, you're going to move from one database to the other, it is a very, very neat way to do it. Okay, so you can actually reuse the same template, for example, for different customers, if you have a template solution. Uh, so it makes things easier to deploy. Uh, hopefully we will be able to change parameters also 
for users. But for now, it's good enough. So I'll see you again on Wednesday. Enjoy your vacation. I'm actually on vacation. And uh, bye.